सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द इंडिया ग्रेटेस्ट लाइव लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रप एंड वेलकम टू द टूडे इज कैप्सूल कोर्स इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस दैट इज वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ स्टैटिक इनडिटर्मिनेसी ऑफ बीम्स सो फर्स्टली लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ सो माई नेम इज रोहन गोयल एवरी वन एंड आई हैव मास्टर्स डिग्री इन स्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियरिंग फॉर माई आई सी बैंगलोर आई हैव स्कोर्ड एन ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ नाइनटी सिक्स इन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड दीज आर द सब्जेक्ट्स दर टीचर बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रप and you can also get the pdf of the session on my telegram group okay you can join my telegram group by searching civil by rohan goel so you can join my telegram group by searching civil by rohan goel if you do not find you can also use this link over here in order to join my telegram group in this i will be providing you very important zoom sessions in which your doubt resolution is going to be done through zoom okay and daily questions are also uh, are also going to be provided on this group okay and any latest information regarding the exam is also going to be provided the notes and pdf also obviously are going to be provided on this group everyone in the today session i will be discussing what is static indeterminacy which is also referred to as degree of redundancy what is the equations of equilibrium what is external indeterminacy and what is internal indeterminacy okay we are going to be discussing all these four topics one by one starting on first of all what is static indeterminacy or degree of redundancy now static indeterminacy or degree of redundancy means what are the extra reactions that you have beyond the equilibrium equations okay suppose we have three reactions and there are three equilibrium equations so that means you can you will be having three equations to solve three unknowns but if there are four unknowns and only three equations you have that means there is one redundant reaction over here so that that is why you call it as the degree of redundancy also so static indeterminacy is the number of additional equations it is the number of what is static indeterminacy it is the number of additional equations which are needed to determine the external or internal reactions okay what are the additional equations which are required beyond the equilibrium equations beyond your equations of equilibrium okay now it is further classified into two parts one is external indeterminacy and another is internal indeterminacy we are going to discuss both of these okay now what are first of all let us understand what is equation equilibrium equations now in structure analysis or in strength of material or in any of the part of our civil engineering each and every structure or a part of a structure or even if you take even a smallest element from that structure each and every thing should satisfy equilibrium as well as stability a structure or a part of a structure or a infinite decimal element of the structure must satisfy equilibrium and status uh, stability and in order to satisfy equilibrium your forces must be, must be uh, in equilibrium the forces must be uh, the summation of forces in the all the three directions should be equal to zero your movement in the all the three set direction should be equal to zero okay so if this is satisfied that means equilibrium is satisfied so these are your equilibrium equations these are your equilibrium equations so all the structures must satisfy these six equations okay now what is external indeterminacy suppose you are standing over here right now your weight is acting upon the floor okay and you are getting some reactions at your at the contact surface of your foot and foot on the ground so there are two external reactions at the two foot right so number of unknown reactions are two right so you need equal you need two equations to solve this problem over here now if suppose you are octopus you have eight legs right so you will have eight reactions so you will require eight equations to solve the reactions of each and every foot so external indeterminacy refers to the external reactions suppose you are standing in the bus you are holding one pipe like this so there is one additional reaction over here when you are holding a pipe there is extra uh, additional external reaction so all these reactions which you are you are getting from external environment are referred to as the external indeterminacy so the number of reactions in excess of the equilibrium equations so r is the number of support reactions r is the number of support reactions and s is the number of equilibrium equations so number of reactions minus number of equilibrium equation will give you the static uh, external indeterminacy right now let us take an example of a simply supported beam 
So in a simply supported beam at end A, you have a pin support and at end B, you have a roller support. So this is a pin, this is a roller. Now at the pin support, there are two reactions that you are going to get. One reaction will be in the vertical direction, vertical reaction at A. That means this will not allow the movement in the vertical reaction. This pin is restricting the movement in the vertical reaction. That is why this reaction is developing. And it will also not allow the movement in the horizontal direction. So another reaction will be developed in the horizontal direction also. Similarly, at a roller support, it will only uh, allow, uh, it will not allow any movement in the vertical direction. Horizontal movement is also allowed. So there is a vertical reaction at B. So what are the total unknown reactions? One, two and three. So number of unknown reactions will become equal to three. And number of equilibrium equation. So this is a 2D system. So this is a, for 2D system, there are, there are going to be three equilibrium equations for 2D. Namely, summation of vertical force is equal to zero. That, that is, if I take this as Y, summation of forces in the y direction, summation of forces in the horizontal direction equal to zero and summation of movements equal to zero. So there are three equilibrium equations. There are three equilibrium equations. So number of equilibrium equations are also equal to three. So degree of static indeterminacy externally will be equal to R minus S, which is equal to three minus three, which is equal to zero. So that means this system over here is statically, externally determinate. Externally determinate. This over here is a externally determinate structure, right? Moving on to the next type of beam, that is a cantilever beam. In a cantilever beam, you have a fixed beam over. You have a fixed support over here. This is A, this is B, and this is free support. This is free. So there will not be any resistance at the B support to move horizontally, vertically, or even rotate. There will not be any resistance over here. But at A, you will get all the three resistance. You will get a vertical resistance also. You will get a horizontal resistance also. And you will get a movement resistance also all the three resistance you are going to get. So what are the number of unknowns? Three. Number of equilibrium equations? Again, three. And what is the degree of static external indeterminacy? Three minus three, which is again equal to zero. That is again determinate. I hope it is clear to you all. If there is any doubt at any point, you can comment in the chat section. I will refer to your doubt. I will definitely answer to you. Okay. You can just, you just have to comment in the chat section, everyone. Okay. All right. Next type of beam is a propped cantilever beam. Now over here, the cantilever beam is propped by a roller support over here. So A, B, this is fixed. This is roller. Now this at, at A support, you will have three reactions. And at the B support, you will only have a one vertical reaction. So what are the number of unknowns? One, two, three, four. So now the number of unknowns are four. And number of equilibrium equations are three. So degree of external indeterminacy will be four minus three, which is equal to one. So it is statically indeterminate. by one degree. So it is statically indeterminate by one degree. So that, that means probed cantilever beam, you need one additional equation. So you need one additional equation is required. You require additional equation. called, what it is called? It is called as compatibility equation. Compatibility equation. So 
सो इन दिस केस द कंपेटेबिलिटी इक्वेशन विच इज यूज इज दैट द डिफ्लेक्शन एट बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस डिपेंड अपॉन द केस टू केस ओके बट यू शुड नो दैट इन सच ए केसेज एडिशनल इक्वेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द अनोन रिएक्शन and since one is uh, the indeterminacy of the structure so we require one additional equation which is referred to as compatibility equation the fourth equation is going to be this is your fourth equation this is your fourth equation the deflection at b point will be equal to zero due to the roller support right last is your fixed beam in a fixed beam both the supports a and b are fixed so you will have three reactions over here so three three reactions number of unknown reactions are going to be six number of equilibrium equation again three so this type of structure is indeterminate by 6 3 3 degree so 6 minus 3 that is 3 degree i hope it is clear to you all i hope it is clear to you all okay i hope there is no doubt at all if there is any doubt at any point you can comment in the chat section okay now let us talk about what is the internal indeterminacy of beams now what is internal indeterminacy right internal indeterminacy is what are the additional equations required to find out shear force axial force and bending moment at any section in that particular structure okay so what are the number of internal reactions in excess of the equilibrium equation okay so number of internal reactions in excess of equilibrium equation so in the case of beams there is no such internal indeterminacy why suppose if you know all the four reactions if you know all these four reactions if you take a section anywhere if you take a section anywhere okay if you take a section anywhere using these known reactions you can find out shear force axial force and bending moment at any given section in the case of beams you take any case even any case you can take if you know these reactions you can find out shear force bending moment at any react any place this type of indeterminacy is present in the case of frames in the case of trusses okay so in the case of beams there is no internal indeterminacy there is no internal indeterminacy so dsi is equal to 0 for beams so degree of static indeterminacy is equal to degree of external indeterminacy plus degree of internal since internal is equal to 0 so total degree of static indeterminacy is equal to degree of external indeterminacy only in the case of beams i hope this point is clear to you all okay so with this our capsule course for the today session is done okay i'll come up with more such sessions okay and if you like the content that we are delivering to you if you like if you want to watch some more such videos okay if you want to know more such things do subscribe to the byju's exam prep channel click on the like button if you like the session share the session as much as you can thank you everyone take care